excited for this man. Please, Mike, welcome Diamond Parade! Hello. Thank you, everyone. Yes, um, my name is David Perez Guaita. But here in Australia, I'm Devo! Yeah, it's kind of difficult to have a, a name that nobody can pronounce, all right? Uh, I remember when I was, uh, when I came here from Spain three years ago, and I had to give my details by phone. I was preparing like my best English from Oxford. <laughs> but then the guy in the other line, he was Indian. And worst part is that the Indian guy is like I had never Spanish accent before. And I had never heard Indian accent before. There are no Indians in Spain. And it turns out that in the world there are a lot. Like, is there any Indian in the crowd? Yeah, yeah. So, 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 so I don't understand you, and you don't understand me. But we like each other, right? <laughs> and this is very good, you know, because sometimes communication skills friendships, right? So, so the so the Indian guy went like, like, um, uh, excuse me, sir, could you please? I cannot do it, uh, but I can do the head. <laughs> So, so I'm, I apologize, I'm really sorry. Did I offend your culture? No. No? Oh, sorry. Because you can totally offend my culture, right? Spain's a shithole, and I understand the, why the Catalans want to get out. But uh, that's all the story. Uh, yeah, so, so the guy was like, um, excuse me, sir, could you please spell your name? Your, like, your family name? And I was like, uh, it's uh, uh, Perez, uh, P for Pita, E for... Uh, is Spain <laughs> and, and, the, and the guy went like P for Pita or sorry P for Pita or P for Pita and say like P for Tutuka <laughs> Mane I'm sorry I swear a lot in Spanish and I actually like it because it keeps home here alright every time I swear but it has become a problem because I have some sort of a, like double personality. So in one hand, we have this uh, Spanish guy, all right, Spanish speaker. And when I speak Spanish, it's like very confident, very macho. But then we have this English speaking David, who some sort of like, like weak, like non-confident, Ned Flanders. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> So I was thinking and I was deciding that I will may change my name because uh, I've seen that some Asian people, they change their names because uh, it's so hard for uh, us to pronounce their names because they are complicated that, that, that they change it. Uh, because obviously we are Western people and we are not make, going to make the effort, right? <laughs> so I thought I was going to change it, so I thought on translating it. So the family name is Perez, and Perez in Spanish means son of Peter. So I thought, mm. Peterson. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, one point. So, so Peterson, uh, Peterson. I like it how it sounds like Peterson, Peterson. Yes, Peterson. And then I thought the name, and the name obviously is David, so it will be David. But then I had this this Australian person said, No, oh, mate. Sorry, sir, I don't understand. Yeah, mate. So barbecue is a Barbie, an apple is an apple, an apple is an apple, and there is no David, there is a table. <laughs> Dave <Dable> Peterson. <laughs> I like it. Dave Peterson. Dave Peterson. You know, so I start getting confident. And I pull myself, I, I, I pull myself a glass of Vegemite, right? And I'm hard to the fuck out. I told to myself, you are Dave Peterson. 
they will be the son, they will be the son. So I went to my boss and I told him, Hi, I'm Dave Peterson. Give me a job. <laughs> and then I went to the immigration office and I said, Hi, I'm Dave Peterson. Give me a visa. <laughs> and then I realized that the lady at the immigration office was very pretty. So I went like, Hola. <laughs> David Perez Guaita. I want a visa and your telephone number. And this is... And this is guys... Uh, <laughs> Hola, Catherine. So guys, this is how I almost got deported. <laughs> yeah, so I can tell you two things about Spain. First, is that with the money you pay for an avocado here in Melbourne, you can get drunk in Spain. <laughs> totally wasted. Think about that every time you buy an avocado. You are wasting your life. Second thing, Spain is a place of hairy people. We have hair everywhere. I have hair everywhere. I have so many hair that I have some sort of a secret competition with my cat. To see which one of us throws more hair onto the carpet. And this little motherfucker you like what I say, motherfucker, you? He challenged me. He looks at me with his face. And he says... <coughs> and then throws a help. And looks at me like that, with tiling in his head. Take it, bitch! Now you clean it! But I have to counterattack. I take hair from my chest. <laughs> and if it's necessary, from down under. <laughs> and I throw it to him. Because he has to understand who is the hairy alpha male. <laughs> well, I think that my time is over, so I think that is just the last one for, for the... That's just going to be for the boys. Sorry, ladies. Oh. Sorry, I got it's a man's you know? <laughs> Just for the matches. <laughs> well, um, so, um, the thing is, um, have you, guys, guys, there, there, guys, have you ever been with a lady yeah. on the bed, right? And suddenly, she sticks her finger into your bottle. No. <laughs> what? It's so refreshing. Right, right, right? <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to be 50 and have my prostate tested. <laughs> Thank you very much.